Hey guys, in this video we are going to install two Tesla Powerwall expansion units to existing uh, three Tesla Powerwall trees. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. Expansion units can only be connected to master Powerwall and we have this on the left. And because we have this one inch conduit between the uh, master and follower power wall, we will need to remove this conduit, raise this a little bit and uh, install two expansion units between them. And here's our delivery for two expansion units. Power roll 3 and expansion units are shipped in reusable packages and what is convenient that we can return uh, packages from previous install with the same driver to our supplier. Now we need to install wall brackets and then we can mount an expansion unit. And here is the Tesla expansion unit cable, it's a straight DC to DC connection. On this side we have 50 solar panels and the three power walls installed originally. I have video of installation and uh, one power wall can charge only 5 kilowatts from solar. Rest has to be consumed or exported to the grid. When we connect in single or multiple expansion units to master power wall, charge rate for this is going to be increased to 8 kilowatts and we are moving one stream from follower to master so we're going to balance charging rate for the entire system after updating firmware on expansion units power wall is going to discharge to be at the same state of charge as the expansion units and then the system will resume to normal operation Alright guys, that's all about this video, I hope you'll find something useful, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.